you know, the, the thing is, you, I love coaching athletes like you in, in college as well because you're so appreciative of everything you get yeah. and every, every opportunity that's put in front of you. Where do you think, um, you know, what's your advice to, to young Americans who, who don't really understand what they're getting? Uh, did that frustrate you, at, frustrate you at times where you're on the team and you're so appreciative but some of the teammates around you just don't understand how lucky they are? You know what was tough for me, Fred? It's a. Uh, it took me a while to understand it, and to accept it, and to say it's the cool. It's okay, you know. This is how things work here. When you went to the showers, and the showers were open for thirty minutes straight, you know, like when when people shower with the with the open water the whole time, mm -hmm. and don't close it because in Mexico there's parts of Mexico that don't have water to drink. And in my town, they they turn off the water after 6 p.m. So you cannot shower after 6 p.m. Wow. So when I got there and I saw the showers like, you know, like on for 30 minutes, I remember I was just like, like someone could drink this, you know, like it took me a while because <laughs> I turned on the shower and then I, I, I get wet and I turn it off to get all the shampoo and everything. And then I, I turn it on again. Uh, it was really hard for me. I, I promise you, to me, that was part of the culture that I was like, this is hard. Like, you know, like, it's hard to accept it. But then I got used to it. And sometimes I also take l longer showers, not not too long, you know, but I started <laughs> taking a little longer showers. But but it, it's part of living in two different worlds because we've, we've driven from San Diego to Tijuana, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. that's 20 minutes apart and it's two different worlds two like different in, worlds. One, in one part there's like million dollar houses with pools people that work if, if you work in anywhere the minimum wage will get you through a living in mexico there's people asking you for money in the corner you know like with their children begging their children you remember yeah. in, the, in the border yeah, and on the border these people that you say like how how do they go through, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and it's, it was really hard, that part for me, the, the cult cultural change and also uh, the food. The, court, the food court was amazing. They had steak the whole time. They had all these good food. So what I will say to, to the kids in America that are 17 and 18 and are, are willing to go to these universities that have everything, honestly have everything, mm -hmm. He's uh, just looking to internet, what is it to live in a developing country or in a third world country? And how are the pools, you know, like sometimes people don't have pools, sometimes people don't have water to it. So just, just be appreciative, you know, like just know that uh, the US is a blessed country. Is, is the, I, I truly believe it's the land of the free, the home of the brave, because I, I've lived it, you know, like mm -hmm. I, I, when I, uh, when I grew up there, it, it's an amazing place to grow up and, and just know that not everyone in the world has what you have. 